generally long lived assets if required on a uh, temporarily basis are acquired under a rental contract for a shorter period of time but if these long lived assets are required for permanent usage in the business then these long lived assets may be acquired under lease contracts so we can say that lease is an alternative to buying a capital asset now what is lease uh, we can define lease as an agreement in which a person promises to make a series of periodic payments to an other person in exchange of the rights of using a capital asset in a lease contract there are two different types of persons the first person is the lesser lesser is a person who owns an asset and who gives the rights of using its assets to another person in exchange of a series of periodic payments the second person is the lessee lessee is a person who agrees to make a series of periodic payments to the lesser in exchange of the rights received for using the asset owned by the lesser we can classify lease contracts according to the nature of the usage of the asset in this way we have a uh, operating lease and financial lease the operating lease is relatively for shorter period of time and it can be cancelled at any time by the lessee so far as the financial or capital lease is concerned uh, according to financial accounting standard boards certain parameters are there if any lease contract holds any of the parameter the lease will be termed as financial or capital lease the parameters are transfer of ownership title to the lessee at the end of the lease contract existence of bargain purchase option in the contract given to the lessee lease term covering major part of the economic life of the asset and by major part is mean uh, at least 75% of the asset's economic life the final is at the inception of the lease the minimum lease payments of the lease contract should be equal to substantial part of the fair value of the asset by substantial part means at least uh, 90% of the fair value of the asset lease can also be classified some other ways like full service lease in full service lease the lesser promises to maintain and insure the asset and to carry on any property tax uh, taxes payable on that particular asset then we have financial or net lease in this type of lease uh, lessee agrees to maintain and operate the asset and he also agrees to pay any related taxes in 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 this course of lease contract then we have leveraged leases under leveraged leases these are a type of financial leases in such types of leases lesser lesser borrows certain part of a leased asset as a purchased price using the lessee's contract as a collateral to the borrowing we can classify a lease as a direct lease in where a lessee identifies an asset in the particular market then the lessee approaches to the leasing company to have a lease contract the leasing company buys the particular asset identified by the uh, lesser lessee and hands over the asset to the lessee under a lease contract sale and lease back in sales and lease back contract lessee at first sells its own asset to the leasing company and then gets it back under a lease contract for its own usage in the business what is the difference between a lease and a borrowing contract if we see financial lease we can say that financial leases are the source of borrowing these are a source of 
financing because in a lease contract lessee is relieved of paying full amount of cash to the uh, lesser so in this way he can save a substantial amount of the purchase price of the asset whereas under borrowing a user can borrow an amount equal to the or major part of the purchase price of the asset he goes to a market buys an asset and uh, puts it under working in its business premises under both the contracts i mean a lease contract and a borrowing contract the lesser and the borrower successfully save a certain portion of price in the form of cash savings a question arises why leasing there are certain benefits due to which a user finds it beneficial to go for an asset lease first benefit is short term leases are convenient if if the user of an asset finds it inconvenient or expensive to carry on a lease contract it can cancel at any time during the lease term cancellation option generally a uh, lease lease contract gives the buyer an option to cancel the lease contract under operating lease the lesser agrees to provide maintenance of the asset throughout the lease term low administrative and transaction cost due to standardization generally a lease comp leasing company uh, gets economies in designing lease contracts for a specific class of assets having similar attributes in this way uh, the administrative cost of executing a lease contract becomes a cheaper for the lesser take shields provision take shields are uh, offered to the lessee under the lease contract as the lease payments are uh, are subject to tax shields then leasing and a financial distress in a lease contract if a lessee feels a difficult in repaying the lease installments and the matter goes to the court but if the court sees that the possession and working of the leased asset is essential to the business of the lessee then the court may order to uh, uh, to the execution of the lease contract in running in this way the lessee is bound to continue the lease payments to the to the to the lesser avoiding the alternative minimum taxes it is a tax benefit that goes to the pocket of the lessee uh, in this way the lessee can reduce its, its tax burden if he uses efficiently and carefully the benefit of tax shields there are certain other reasons that make a uh, leasing an attractive choice for the lessee first is the avoidance of capital expenditure control instead of buying a fully owned capital asset the lessee can go for leasing an asset and operating it without much working and reporting problems leasing preserves capital whether we borrow funds for the purchase of a capital asset or we lease a capital asset under a lease contract leasing say that it preserves it pre preserves the capital of the lessee in the form of savings in the cash outflows of balance sheet financing if a lease contract allows to waive of any of the con lease conditions of financial lease set by financial accounting standard board then under those conditions lessee uses the assets updates the assets 
make the lease payments but the asset does not appear on the balance sheets of the lessee it affects book income uh, lease contract positively enhances the income of the lessee it increases book return of the lessee because under of balance sheet items the assets are understated and return of the firm when applied over the book value of the assets gives a higher value of return to the lessee 